What's going on, everybody? We are here with the final regular season game for our Villanova Wildcats dynasty on NCAA 14. And number two Villanova playing in their final game of the season. It is Pitt Panthers Senior Day here in Pittsburgh. And Villanova's looking to come in against a cross-state rival, looking to take them down just like they did to Penn State. Let's see if they can get the job done. I mean, they're 8-0. They're 10-1 and overall. Real chance at a natty here. They're already ranked number two. So if they can get this win, whether or not they move to number one, it will not matter. All that will matter is that they are in the top two. So they will control their own destiny. Win this game. Win the Big Ten title game. And they are in the national championship. Let's see if they can do it. Pittsburgh going to start with the ball. And there is Franklin. And he is going to start with a big 20-yard run on this Nova defense that has been so stingy. Quarterback going to flip over to Collier. And that's going to be a six-yard run. That's a first down. Now Brown looking. He is going to take off. Takes a big hit, but picks up 11 yards. Nothing but running so far for Pitt. There's a throw, though, and that is Jordan Berg with a completion. Third and nine. Brown going to get sacked. Big time play. And Pittsburgh settles for a field goal. So they were looking really good. They only end up with a field goal on the drive. Gray going to get him to a third and inches, and they will stop Robert Wilson, but on a fourth and one, typical Mark Ferrante gutsy call, going for it on fourth down, picking it up, trusting Trayvon Johnson, and then on a second and seven, there is Todd Gray with a 27-yard reception. Now Wilson throwing the out route to Daniel Carlton. That's a 14-yard reception, and now... We reach the end of the first quarter with Pittsburgh up 3-0. However, number two, Nova, on the move. Here's Wilson coming out of the break on a third and nine, and he's hit as he tries to throw. So Villanova will settle for a field goal and tie the ball game. Pittsburgh coming down on their drive. That is Mark, Joel Mark, with the reception. And there's another nice throw over to Williams. Another big throw by Brown who started out with only running calls, and now he is throwing downfield, and that one should have been intercepted by Lorenzo Atkinson. Couldn't haul that one in. So Brown on second and ten, going to throw this one deep, and he finds Collier, who somehow gets behind everyone on the defense. So a 10-3 game for Pittsburgh, but there he is, Brian Gates, able to burn who. Ever the Pitt Panthers are throwing out there for a 75-yard touchdown. Anything you can do, I can do better, eh? There's a throw. <laughs> a throw. There's a handoff to Caleb Franklin, and that's going to be a first down. Now on a second and 13, nearly intercepted by Brian Johnson, but it's a throw to Jordan Berg for a first down. Now a third and 10. There is Franklin, and trying to pick it up, only picks up six yards Pitt had a punt there, so a 10-10 game. Wilson going to get sacked on first down at second and 19. Under two minutes to play. Wilson sacked again near a safety. They'll mark it at the half-yard line, now a third and 30. Caleb Stevenson trying to get him out of a hole. He's able to pick up 13 yards. Nova punts from there. Pitt gets great field position. The throw to Copeland's a five-yarder. Complete. Brown. Going deep, going end zone, and it's picked off by Smith. The free safety comes up with it. And now Nova with the ball once more. Starting just over a minute to play. First down and out of bounds for Turner, or eight yards and out of bounds for Turner. And then there's Caleb Stevenson going to pick up the first down with a 15-yard catch. Now Wilson going to throw this one downfield. He's going to find Daniel Carlton. It's a big-time completion. Nova's got to take their first time out. There's a throw over to Carlton. He breaks the tackle, and he's in the end zone. Carlton somehow gets free, and he will give Villanova the lead. 17-10 to 10 at the half here on the road in Pittsburgh. All right, coming out of halftime, it is 
Nova, who will start with it here in the second half. What a throw to Carlton. Carlton breaks free, and he is inside the 35-yard line. Nova threatening. There's a deep throw, and it's Kevin Rivero. 34 yards for a touchdown. Wilson is throwing dots all over the field today. Here is Brown. He's going to throw this one out of the backfield to Franklin. And that's going to be a nine-yard pickup as we lose the scoreboard on technical difficulties. There's a fumble. Villanova picks it up. Downing. Nova has a chance to take a giant lead here. Carlton. Inside the 10. What a broken tackle. Carlton has been breaking some tackles. He has been giving it a little extra today. And Wilson takes a shot, but he is already in the end zone. Touchdown, Nova. They go up three scores. Joel Mark with an 11-yard reception. Now Brown going to throw this one over to Harper. That's going to be a first down. What else can Pitt do here? They're down big. There's the read option. and slammed behind the line. A three-yard loss. Pitt would have to give the ball back. And Trayvon Johnson finds room up the middle for 28 yards. Wilson now looking, finding Carlton. Another slant route for him, 12-yard reception. Wilson again looking deep, and he is going to hit Rivero for a 33-yarder. Wilson is just bombs away today. Unbelievable the way he has played, and we've reached the end of the third quarter, 38-10. to 10. Pittsburgh has been blitzed coming out of the half. And that one incomplete as well on a third down. Pittsburgh again not converting on third. They have to go for it here on fourth, and Copeland makes a huge play for them. Now Brown looking, throwing deep, and that one nearly picked off by Sanders. Fourth and nine. Pittsburgh desperate and a great throw to Mark. It's a touchdown to Joel Mark, 35 yards. Pittsburgh will go for the onside kick. Villanova's had some trouble with these recently, but they will get the onside kick. Now Wilson, not going to show any mercy. He is going to run this one, and he will slide. There is a flag on the play. They are going to call holding on Nova, so this one is going to come back. Caleb Stevenson, the guilty party. Now Wilson going to throw this one over to Turner. Turner able to get it to the 25 with a 10-yard catch. Third and six now later on. Wilson going to scramble to his right and eventually be brought down. It'll be fourth and eight. They will go for a field goal and it will doink off the upright. Marshall not able to put that one through even though he's been miles better than Bazinga Crow. And Brown is going to get sacked for a loss of eight. And that is going to get the ball back for Villanova. Not a lot of time left in this game. I don't know if Villanova should be doing what they're doing. You can let me know in the comments section below. But Villanova going dagger. And Brian Gates, 30-yard touchdown. Robert Wilson really trying to make a case at Heisman. He really is. He is pissed that he is not on the list. Five touchdowns. Through the air, one on the ground. He was 20 for 26. How is this man not a Heisman candidate? Look at his games. Look what he has done. I just can't believe it. But anyways, that's beside the point. He was able to rush for a touchdown today, throw for five. That's six total. Carlton had 125 and a touchdown. Gates had 105 and two touchdowns, and Rivero had 67 and two touchdowns. People were catching the ball out there, folks. Sacks, two for Downing, including the forced fumble and the recovery. I don't know who had the forced one, but he had the recovery. Smith had the pick, and a lot of deflections out there. Once again brought to you by Legion, games around the country no one gives a shit about. But they care about Gavin's cheese balls. Now, as you can see, Wilson, with an abdominal tear, he is probable. And Alpo Pohl was out for the game against Pittsburgh, their starting corner. 
Okay, we are looking at recruiting. These recruiting updates are going to be pretty short because we pretty much have a lot of the scholarships locked up already. As you can see, only seven scholarships remaining, which means there's not a lot of people to get. And we've got two five-stars and 12 four-stars, three three-stars and one two-star player. So, yeah, we're pretty good. We get three more commits, which is bringing us down to four um, scholarships that we have to offer. So we will be taking on the Iowa Hawkeyes for the second straight year in the Big Ten title game. Give me your predictions for how that game is going to go. What do you guys think? Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for supporting the series. Let me know what you think is going to happen against the Iowa Hawkeyes for the second straight year. Thank <music> you.